back. I'm joined now by Dr. Robert Boyer with Trailhead Clinics for our Share the Health segment. Thanks for having me. We have another great morning topic for everybody eating their breakfast right now. We are talking about constipation. Everybody's had it at some point or another. So what defines it? So it's generally defined as a, uh, um, a change in either the consistency or the frequency of a bowel movement. So normally consistency becoming towards more being more hard and firm and uh, frequency being less often than normal. And what actually is the cause? So there's various things like most things that uh, like most diseases that can cause constipation. Most frequently it would be related to just not enough water intake, so kind of dehydration or uh, not enough fiber in your diet, which is a really big problem in our country with all the processed foods that we eat. So. And what would qualify as being constipated? Like how often should somebody actually be going? Um, so that's variable. I think a lot of uh, people feel like, oh, I have to have a bowel movement every day in order to not be constipated. And that may be kind of the normal for someone that, you know, and, and where they feel better. But, you know, for babies or, or you know, even older adults, um, it can be really variable. And so there's really no magic number. The, the, the most important thing is just if you're you know, are you having symptoms because you're not going, and is it painful when you, when you have a bowel movement, that kind of stuff. So if it's not and you feel fine, then it may be your normal maybe to go every other day or something. And finally, what about, is there anything we can do to treat it or prevent it? Yeah, so get enough water in your, in your, um, in, in your daily intake, so lots of water, don't let yourself get dehydrated, and then f increasing fiber in the diet, which again is a, is a huge problem. They, we should, you know, be having 25 to 30 grams of fiber a day and the average American gets about eight. Really? So that's a problem, right? Like, um, increase fiber in your diet and, and I don't really love the fiber supplements. I don't know that they've ever been shown to really, you know, help with some of the issues that are caused by constipation. So as with most things, it's always better to get the fiber in your diet than to take some kind of supplement. And what are some fiber-rich foods that people could turn so to? So you've got things like uh, beans have a lot of fiber in them. Uh, of course, a lot of the fruits and vegetables, things like raspberries, uh, are fiber-rich. Um, and then if you can skip the, the processed white rice and use brown rice or wild rice, that's going to have more fiber in it, or barley, uh, you know, than some other, other types of uh, grains that we eat. All right. Well, awesome. Hope you guys can now turn back to your breakfast. And uh, if you need to know more about this, we'll have the info on westernslopenow.com. And we're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back.